Welcome to Room Premier Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Compact X15 Ultra HD 4K Action Cam. This is a budget action cam. I picked it up from Amazon under £40. As you can see there, Wi-Fi connectivity, so you could use your mobile phone up. Electronic image stabilization, touch screen. If I just turn the box there, it's got some more information there on the back here. So 4K UHD video. 30 meters underwater, 16 megapixel photo camera there as well, and Wi Fi connectivity, electronic image stabilization. He has a 170 degree wide angle lens. Okay, let's open the box. Okay, so you get a surprise, your experience matters. So if you review the product on Amazon, they will give you a gift, maybe like batteries and SD card or something. Instruction manual. Of course, is all in English and it displays everything there, like the resolutions, the whole thing there. How to use it? Is that okay? The action camera itself. Now, before we get onto the action camera, let's look at the accessories because it does have a lot of accessories. I'll just take everything out of the box. You get two batteries there. Let me just place everything onto the table and then we'll have a look at everything. So, okay, so as you can see, you have a lot of accessories here cleaning cloth and you've got some cable ties in there you've got some sticky pads you can also use this as a dash cam because it has loop record as well some pads there if you want to mount it onto your helmet you've got your usual bracket there for mount mounting it onto your bike if you want on your handlebars some more brackets there it's got loads you get the usb charging cable charging it or brackets there this is the one i'm interested in because this is the one you can attach to a normal tripod a mount there to mount it to your tripod housing there some more clips and stuff it comes with two batteries so it's got a lithium ion battery and each battery is 1050 milliamp hour so they say it should last you around an hour of 4k 25 frames per second that's what it does or under an hour about 45 minutes or something that's that that's another back cover there. This one's got holes in it. If you want to record audio, because this does record audio, although I don't think it'll be that good, you put this door on. There's the camera itself in the waterproof housing. Well sealed. It's already got a mount on there. So to take it out, you just pinch that. That, that comes off. That is well sealed in there. Let me take the action cam out. And then buttons, you can use, use the action cam in there as well when you're there but it won't record any audio onto the action cam itself it's got a two inch screen there 4k ultra hd a little fingerprint there telling you it's a touch screen two inch screen it's got your speaker there navigation up down at the bottom that's where the battery would go so if you'd open that door now be careful when you open this door because it sort of flings at you i didn't this time because i've already inserted my battery in. that tab stays there when you put the battery in go there on this side, it's got these microphone there, HD out, and your micro charging port. And then it's got your micro SD card slot, class 10. It supports up to 64 GB of micro SD card. And I do recommend use SanDisk because that's what I use. I mean, you could use whatever you want, but that's what I use in all my cameras. And I've never had a problem with them. At the top here, it's got OK, and that's a light indicator. When the battery dies out, that will start flashing red. At the front there, it's got the 170 degree wide angle lens, some compact branding there, on slash mode button there. Okay, so let me just take that off and then I'll turn it on. So to turn it on, you just push that. Compact. The battery's charged. Uh, there's no SD card in there, as you can see. Let me just turn one of the lights off, make it a bit darker. Yep. As you can see. Okay, so... If I just put that there, it's got your frame rates there. So you could go by mode. So that's gone into photos now. So it's 16 megapixel photos. You could, it's got a playback button there as well. So if I click the gear icon, it's got your resolution. So that's your photo resolution. You could go all the way to 16 megapixel to four megapixel, leave it on 16. Gear cog there so that you could sort your exposure, power, language, date and time stamp, sound indicators, up, down, screensaver, power off, format. Now, when you do put an SD card in, make sure to format it. That's what they always recommend. So back out of that, if I click back again, 
okay and if i push the mode button again let's come back into the video mode now if i were to push the gear cog the resolution is come up now so if i were to click the resolution right 4k 20 frames per second 2k 30 frames per second or 1080p 60 frames per second and 1080p 30 frames per second now a lot of people are still using 1080p including myself but most people who do want to use 4k 4k 60 frames per second this company does do that and that would be better for you if you're doing fast moving action but for what i needed it for for my needs it's okay i'm okay with 1080p 30 frames per second but i mean for the price it, it's okay um, but i will of course include some test footage in as well so you can do 720p 60 frames per second or it's got 720p 120 frames per second so that's for your slow-mo in fact click back you could turn the image stabilization on or off i will show you some test footage with both loop recording on off time lapse i've turned that off and then your time stamp you could have it on off video record on there you go really basic to use and then you can play the recordings back as well okay i'll put an sd card in now and then i'll include some test footage This clip's getting recorded with the image stabilization turned off. My apologies, the footage will be shaky even with the electronic image stabilization turned on. I drink a lot of coffee, my hands are shaky, they shake quite bad. So that's the reason this camera may look more shaky to you than it actually is. Both of these clips were recorded at 1080p 30 frames per second. I did not record in 4K 25 frames per second because I did try that. The quality wasn't as good. But for fast moving action, you need a higher frame rate. So the 4K 24p won't be that good. Internal audio isn't as good as I mentioned before. Pictures were both taken at 16 megapixels. In my opinion, if you're looking for a cheap camera, because at the time of making this video, this is on Amazon for £33. I will leave a link in the description box below. This is a good 1080p 60 frames per second action cam if you're looking for that. However, if you do want to get a 4K 60 frames per second, Compax also do that. But that's around £50, I think. 50 60 pounds there about but as we are approaching black friday if you are in the market for an action cam my suggestion will be wait for a while when it's black friday check the links in the description box below because the prices keep changing you may be able to get a good deal but do let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the quality my friends as always thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in my next video